when we first started, we were always told that remember, you're representing something far more serious, far more important than any one of us could even imagine. It's very difficult to sum up Dubai Holding and all its endeavours in a few seconds, but I'd say Dubai Internet City's launch um, was the very first where Sheikh Mohammed had a vision to make Dubai the largest technology business hub in the MENA region, and I think that really happened so well. That's me and my mum on the right, and me with dad on the left, and I just love both these photos. Though I'm called Thritty, um, I write it as a three and a T, and that was very much my mum's style. Uh, in fact, funnily enough, she wanted my dad to put it on a birth certificate, and I couldn't believe that she would do that. My name actually has a meaning, um, which is a nourisher of the mind. I was born in a middle-class family. My mum and dad uh, lived in Kenya. Being brought up in Mombasa, the, the one big benefit was being able to have access to a super ocean. So my formative uh, studying was in, in Mombasa. And then at a very young age, my mum thought it was best that perhaps I should be sent to the UK. Things were a little harsh when I first went because uh, I wasn't used to the country or the people. From the very beginning, I thought law was fun, whereas most people think of law as boring. So I really enjoy law, and that's where I, I went into um, thinking that I would become a lawyer. I think it's a lot to do with my father. He wasn't a lawyer, I must say. He was a right comic, and he just had a whole bunch of friends who were lawyers and I still remember when I was so young um, my dad had an, um, uh, an office a warehouse you could say he dealt with curios wooden curios and they would come to this cafe next door which is called the cozy tea room which is so known and they would call my dad over and they would be chatting with him like as though he was some big barrister going to give them big advice. And he would, and it's all in jest, he would do that. And, um, and I'd be sitting at the back listening and I just found it so fascinating because they were, it was so much fun. There was, I never thought about all that reading one had to do for law. It was just my dad entertaining people with legal um, funnies, you know. And I think that subconsciously was part of me. So after having a really great time in England, I had to make a move to Dubai. And initially, I wasn't certain about my move to Dubai. So once I got here, I realized, I, I, of course, I need a job. I've got to do a job. Um, and I worked in a, a company where they were specialists in, in, in uh, mergers and acquisitions. And I had a brilliant um, American boss. Um, I learned a lot from him. He was, I was a sponge. Um, uh, I really absorbed a lot of the stuff that he did. So we found that we were coming to the end of our legal life there, you know, um, uh, of what that company was going to offer us. And then very, very fortunate, we, we were headhunted uh, by the CEO, then CEO, of the newly formed Dubai Internet City. We were working on Sheikh Zayed Road anyway, and Dubai Internet City was at uh, Crown Plaza in those days because there was no free zone as yet. And he was called in in the morning and uh, he just went off and um, he came back. And I said, I hope you've said something about taking me with you. And he said, well, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I get a call about an hour later saying, can you come now? And I was mortified because I wasn't dressed for, for, for an interview. And they said, sorry, it's now or well, the gentleman's traveling, so he wants to see you. And uh, so I just rushed there, uh, having, having so many uh, positive points about my employment, if he was to recruit me. Uh, and I was 
preparing all this in my head, only to find out that when I said everything to him, he just laughed and said, um, did, you, did Michael not tell you that we said we, you would come in as a pair? And this was just before the opening at Dubai Internet City. It was a very pressurizing time. We had a lot to do in a very short time. Uh, and an opening that was on a day, it couldn't be moved. Um, and therefore everything had to happen to the point that our CEO decided to move us into the building at Dubai Internet City, even though it wasn't finished because that's the only way he could apply pressure on the construction guys to make sure everything happened on the day. And, and that's the beginning of me and Dubai Holding. The fun part was, it was new. Everything is possible. And like we know in Dubai, even now, anything is possible if you want it to happen. That was exciting. Can you imagine saying that you were part of something where draft laws were taken to the ruler's office and then they make them laws? Now that, that I think was a privilege for me to be part of. I never had specific goals, but I always had a goal that I must do well and I must make the company proud of me. And I hope with all these years of being with Dubai Holding and the different management that went through, I seem to be almost like the, the anchor. It's like having that furniture bit that's just sitting there and people move on, you know, and yet I'm still there. So I, I'm so fortunate. I've seen a whole spectrum of people um, and I hope that they feel that I've contributed something and they feel that I've made a difference. The team I work with, the Dubai Holding Legal Department, we're a small team and we tend to look after all the corporate work for not only the companies that are part of Dubai Holding, the main corporate office, but we look after all the verticals as well. It's easy enough to say, let's ask Thritti. And it's for two reasons. One is because I see a bigger picture um, you know, I, I tend to see what hospitality is doing and then I also see what real estate is doing in the company structures. But what is more important is I've been here longer, so I have a historical um, uh, information, you know, um, that, that might help. I love doing fun things and even exciting things, but um... I also like being at home, being reflective and just having a quiet time. I find embroidery um, really helps me, helps me to focus, helps me to think and just reflect on, on, the, um, on the things I've been doing during the day. But I must say I'm very fortunate, yet again, blessed and fortunate to work for Dubai Holding because for me, this company gives such a lot to its employees. It makes sure the employees are valued. And when you're valued, you will give your best. And not only give your best, but you will also make sure that it's protected. I've just got to contribute well and do well and just make sure I make a difference. So I feel my goal is just to make their life better and make the company better in whatever way I can. I wouldn't be conceited enough to think that I made a difference in the company, but I hope I made a difference in some people's lives, whether it's professional or personal.